It's not working. Oh, it's working. Okay, cool. <laughs> Zero scuff going on here today, chat. Zero scuff whatsoever. Everything is working exactly as intended. 100%. Not a single thing going wrong. Okay. And now I'm sat here hoping to God that I didn't screw something up in some other weird place. Amazing. <laughs> okay, I've got the actual bloody tracker this time, thank god. <laughs> Maybe turn a bit, okay. I'm gonna be honest, I've just... The last few days I've done a lot of random crap, so I was just kind of unprepared for this stream. Uh... That's fine. <laughs> okay, okay, so... <laughs> in my defense, and this is a great defense, by the record, absolutely zero flaws of it, uh, I basically spent a long time recently testing some of the future Elvis content. And so, I, like, 10 minutes of the stream, I was like, oh, wait, let's scrum it all for save file. Oh, crap, crap, crap. <laughs> So, so as well as I've been playing, I've been kind of like trying to get through a crap to make sure I don't accidentally leak anything. I'm like almost sure I've, I'm fine, uh, almost. But <laughs> technically, there's a chance I could accidentally leak something today, and I hope to God I don't. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, P pro. Do you ever when you accidentally leak unreleased content? Yeah. It sucks too, because this stuff's actually really cool. Like, genuinely. There's some really cool stuff. So, I hope I don't leak any of it by accident. Could have made a backup free testing. I actually haven't done anything to my save file, it's just making sure I, like, don't accidentally open a test level or something. And I made sure to go download the older tab, so I'm not using any of the plans in the future, like spoiler and spoiler. So, yeah. Now I'm talking about the Flourish team because they've reacted to your video. Uh, I feel like to point out that I worked with the Flourish devs to get that video out. Like, they had my permission to do that in the first place. And the thumbnail, I, they just asked me for the file so I could, they can make it, so... It, it, it's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> and a lot of people are kind of annoyed about that video. From what I can tell, they seem to miss some points, but... Meh. 
This is blue sex. No, this is at Mimu, uh, if you need to know. Okay. Beyond that, uh, this stream is going to be kind of a collection of various bits and bobs from Altus. There's like a lot of bits and bobs for Altus. We have to play still. Some from old updates, some from new updates that we just haven't gone around to yet. No, I gotta spoil them, spoil them. No freaking way. I love these plants. Don't we all? We all love Jared. I love Gatling P. They will never add it. I shall make no comments. But yeah, the next world's gonna be really cool if it comes out if it comes out right. So look out for that. It's gonna be cool. Anyways, I'll stop. Stop like traversing the edge, and we'll just play Alvis. Because there's still a lot. I've I've got to turn on the. Nope. What did I do? Up. Oh. Oh, that that was the issue. I forget I do that sometimes. Anyways, there's events going on. I guess we can do the look. We can do the look for party event. We've got like a last day of it, so I'm pretty sure we'll show off the funny new zombie in that. I'm pretty sure he'll be here. I have not used in Alvers compared to his vanilla counterpart. I like most plants in Alvers. It's quite fun. Why is Android all the modding happens? Uh, in Android, you actually modify the game, while in iOS, you can't really do it properly yet. Also, uh, all the holidays now run music. Which is all we were playing before, if you didn't know. Very whimsical. For St. Patrick's Day. Apple hate side loading, yeah. I think they only do it now because legally they have to. That's the only reason like, you can do it like in some versions now, but... Even then, it's far from ideal. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Well, didn't mean to accidentally scorch the earth, but okay, ultimato. I love stolen. I'm so smart. What can they do? <laughs> Standard strategy right here. Uh, let me do that. Uh, oh well. Okay, scorpion. The lucky scorpion, whatever it's called. I don't know why this level has sun bombs. I don't think you've had them pawned here, but oh well. Does drunk driver show in his lol? There he is. I love drunk driver. I think his name is actually drunk driver. That might just be the internal name we use for him. So drunk driver has a new ability essentially. Uh. He doesn't actually shield himself, he spawns little mini beers that shield for him. They, they do not need ultimate of us, that, that's whatever. See, he was added as part of like the contest, I believe. He's a cool one, I like him. I hate the mini beers. 
What do you mean, they're the best zombie? Zero frustrations associated. But yeah, unfortunately, like, we can't really see Drunk Driver in action properly because this is the only level he's really in. He's endless exclusive right now, I believe. Unless they do a St. Patty's Quest Part 2, which I don't know if they plan to. Maybe, but eh. It wouldn't be the first time I know that, like, a lot of the events already have that. Uh, Valen Brains has got one, which we'll be playing through today. But, who knows, maybe there is a plan to do it. Everything's quite tough. <laughs> Solution. Oh boy, we got more acid lemon, my favorite. It's obviously called Drunk Driver. I think that might just be an internal name for him, but we, we just constantly called him. I, I know him as Drunk Driver, but I'll double check his actual name. Cause like genuinely, I only know him as Drunk Driver. <laughs> okay, let's see, where is he? Uh, do do do. Holiday one, holiday two. Summit, no, no, no. There he is. Uh, his name is Irish the Prussian Zombie, okay. <laughs> Incredible. I I'm just calling him Drunk Drug because I think it's funnier. He's not around, but he does question, question, question mark. Okay, nice. So, with that said, as a lovely quest today, I have to do this. I'm not doing that. So, we've got a few quests we have to complete. We haven't completed Heroic Showdown yet, so we should probably get that done. After that, we'll do either Remedy for Love, which I believe is the Valenbrain's quest, and there's Volcanic Lost City you have to complete as well, because that's also new. Well, not new, new, but new for me. Say, hey neighbor, why don't you just throw the bag away? That way, Zomo's gonna harass us with these horrible trials. Say, hey Benny, wouldn't that just be a walk over there? You lose, I win, and if I had cards, and I continue my plans of universal domination elsewhere. In my humble opinion, that's completely embarrassing. You only got through one trial. Congratulations, you must continue. Isn't prosperity mesmerizing? Unfortunately, good things don't last forever, and bad things are inevitable. And you stand against the massive horde of only half of your plan roster. Here we go. So, if you don't remember, we did this quest like a first of it a while back. We never really got a chance to complete it, but. Oh well. I guess we'll use Nightcap here. We, we can probably we'll use a new plant, because that just makes sense to me. Uh. Quick reminder, if you don't remember what these gimmicks do, these things will restore zombies to their non-holy counterparts. Uh, you check Anarchus, we'll spawn random grid items on the lawn. And, uh, Brainstorm down here, we'll summon portals or summon random zombies, so... A lot of RNG. A lot of problems. Uh, what plans do we... I guess we can still... I mean, Grape Shop. Is that title actually for these zombies at once? I think it is, if I recall. So, let's figure out how we're doing this. Uh, Nightcap for a bit of a recap. Because Nightcap is a bit of a weird one. 
If they deal, like, true slash bleeding damage, essentially, with their projectiles. So it basically deals percentage-based damage instead of the normal type of damage, which is helpful for bigger threats like this. It means they, they tend to just hit harder against some things. They're alright, I think. I think against most threats are not great. They do with PS armor though, which is something. And they also will hide as zombies get too close. Because of course they can. Well, I, I somehow thought that would actually work. Oh, okay, well... I guess Importer would be what that transforms into, I guess. Uh, sure. N not I, I guess I see it. <laughs> sure, we'll go with it. <laughs> That's good enough. And of course, the new hold new music is also really nice. Okay, let's get some more nightcap up in here. Ranimate Gregor spawn, that's not ideal, but whatever. I guess we just have to take it. Okay. Portals there. Oh, Infinity's here. I forgot about it even existing. Eh. Well, every lane other than the top lane is attack being attacked right now. We have something for it, so I think we might just be fine. Technically. Ah, oh, wait. If that... That's what we're... Okay, right. Okay, we're seeing plan food now. Uh, whole day jetpacks don't fly over stuff. But, uh, because... But then... Yeah. I'll say one thing when I remember it. Okay. Whole day jetpacks don't fly over uh, projectiles, but... Um, normal jetpacks do that, so we have to be wary of that. Because we can't actually hit him. He is currently unhittable in his deck. Which I didn't consider, consider before, but that's actually kind of problematic. Why is Nightcap looks so ugly? Sure, the most PC plant looks wise. I think everybody agrees, nobody likes the way Nightcap looks. It just kind of has to look like this because we don't. Uh, to be able to like, re to, like redraw the entire plant again to work otherwise. Most modern plants just look kind of bad. I hate the way how it has legs. Having legs just makes it look stupid. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, that. Yeah, this might be a loss here. Yeah, yeah, it's lost. Okay, restart. <laughs> Just don't want it on myself. Wow, I'm a, I'm a genius, honestly. Today has been my day. So much good stuff has happened to me. So much. They have a similar issue with new PC2 plants. Yeah, because Nightcap is very new. It's a very recent plant. Why well, sometimes I turn some flowers? It's out there. It's running when some flowers solo was bad. And when some flowers not even in the deck, actually. Didn't notice that. Huh. Okay, well, we're not gonna run Nightcap then, because Nightcap's not big enough. I uh, use Daisy, but Daisy not here, so alas. You could use Acid Lemon. 
I feel I might be too e my mi actually was. Okay, let's bring. Is there is there a good catapult? It, Eki. Okay, bring Eki then. We'll bring you for early game. Uh. We could bring <laughs> Kiwi Dick, Kiwi Dick, Kiwi Dick. No, we're not running. We're busting out the Kiwi yet. We don't need to bust out a Kiwi at the first sign of inconvenience. We'll try this. If it doesn't work, we'll swap in. We'll sub in Chomper because Chomper's really good. We make Aki 400 Sun because it does more damage. It has been buffed. In this mod as well, Aki projectiles do more damage the further right they go, essentially. So the more times they bounce off stuff, the more damage it does, which is actually very noticeable. It does mean that in the hordes they do a lot of damage. But not great against single target. Which I guess is why we have Celery for the time being. Because Celery is good against single targets. Okay. You're there. Okay, I'll ignore you. You will trans just transform into an importer anyways, and I don't think Hercule kills you. Because code reasons. Love Struck is up, that's fine. We'll be seeing more of his ambush later on, I imagine. Uh, just... Eh. What's my plan to kill you? Do I have a plan to kill you? I should, but I don't. Okay, we're doing SM. Okay, this is my plan to kill him. There we go. We found out. We found a plan to kill him. We figured it out. Okay, we'll put Aki in this lane. We've got a few Akis up now. That's good. That's something. Now we're gonna go start the Celery spam. <laughs> Ignore the big lob. Okay, Love Struck is back. That top lane is gonna be scary. That's fine. You are being blocked by Char, but we need another one. Okay. Uh, top lane needs his supports. I'll do this because, yes. Do I quickly solve that problem? Mark you all back. Uh, you are not looking great right now. Uh, get some plant food back up. There's another floaty guy, if that's fine. He's Giganica should not be a big deal here in theory. Uh, we can knock you back. Ray's Eve is annoying, but whatever. Actually, we just get transformed into a soft bugger, so it's not that bad. Okay, nice. Okay, uh... This... Uh, you're speedy. Okay, so I don't care, because I can get more that way. Ah, oh, crap! Okay, please, please kill. Aki, please. Thank you, <laughs> Okay, well, we're not dead yet, apparently. I suppose I didn't nerf slash rework Celery. Celery's actually very nerfed, you just can't tell because it's so powerful anyways. 
Celerine Outburst does like a fraction of the damage it does normally. It's still an insane plant, because of course it is. Okay, uh... Save her for the final Aki, please. We, we do need it. Okay, thank God. So it's just, just like elaborate on celery thing, which is a really big example. Uh, celery and vanilla can solo a uh, Conad without much help, if any help. Uh, this is this is, this is fine. Uh, in in like vanilla, Conad, celery can solo Conad. Uh, in outburst, it can only solo basic. It's still insanely strong, and you'll use it if you can most of the time, if you're good at the game. Wink, wink. Uh, otherwise. <laughs> But has genuinely been nerfed quite a bit. I I'm sorry I'm a bit everywhere. I'm a bit scattered because of all this nonsense I can't control. This is a lot. Please help me. Okay. Amazing. Okay, fine. We'll bust out the Kiwi Beast. We'll just like, just auto it. Congrats, you won. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure Kiwi Beast is the most broken plan Alvers right now, but uh, who cares? Not not me. I'm using it anyways. Ha. Huh. I guess if we're using it, we'll also bring like Primal Potato Mine because I do I quite like the thing. Uh, we also bring like Snoopy, but I don't like. I don't. Want, you know, I'm not gonna bring Snoopy. Snoopy's not needed. Okay, cool. Okay, time for Kiwi Beach shenanigans. My uh, the plan I'm pretty convinced desperately needs a nerf, <laughs> which is which is funny because people day one for this thing was terrible. <laughs> Which I think says a lot about people not knowing what plan how strong plants actually are in PZ2 sometimes. Cause like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kiwi's cost 150 though, god damn. Kiwi's in vanilla is legitimately so broken and nobody ever talks about it because it used to be a premium plant. Like these days, Kiwi's in vanilla is like. Uh. No, Kiwi's in Vanilla is like, uh, Jimmy now. It's been Jimmy for like a small while, which is impressive. Okay, cool. But it does so much damage. Okay. Nope, pulling you back up again. You might have to know how Kiwi was talking about two years before it came out. This is a nightcap with my childhood. Yeah, not yeah. Kiwi's was such a weird plan internally. Uh, you know, I, I can explain this. Just explain this like in official PZ two. Uh, because some people might not know this. Kiwi was originally kind of leaked during Lost City's release, I believe. But it just never came to be. We don't actually know, I believe, to this day, if the Kiwi we have now is what it was originally intended. I think. Because it's just been because it legitimately was like. Teased for so, teased so long ago. It's like a really strange thing. It's probably one of like the weirdest facts of PvE right now. 
And also, like, one of the most, like, one of, like, the longest times for content being leaked and being actually used ever, if not the not straight up, if not straight up the longest time between it. It's interesting stuff, honestly. He's just love broken plants. Yeah, that's kind of a PvZ2 for you. I mean, to some people at this kind of point, I prefer when plants are not broken beyond all belief, but... No opinions or opinions, I suppose. Bucky Beast does like so much more so much damage than like everything it's in. <laughs> Why did Chicken Wrangler turn into an imp? I, you know... Oh, uh, actually, yeah, I know why. Okay, I'm not gonna question it. I know exactly why. <laughs> but that's actually very funny. <laughs> that's really strange, but that makes complete sense if you know what it is. If you know, if you know, if you know, like the code behind the thing. Okay, well, the good news is that we're still standing, and it looks like we still will be standing for quite a while, frankly. I was gonna do that, but oh well. Apparently no, that's, that would not be allowed. Kiwi did it, Kiwi is insane, yeah. Again, I think this thing definitely needs a nerf. But we'll see if it actually ends up with one. I'm not quite sure if it will, just yet. Because it's important to note that while Kiwi is really, really strong, a lot of people just can't use the darn thing. It is semi skillful, I guess. I feel that might be a bit of a push, but. Who knows? Like, we'll do this, because that gives us, gives us a bit of extra damage. Because Kibis does actually lack single target, in theory. But at this point, I feel like anything in the middle lane is getting absolutely destroyed by everything else going on. Playing PC shoes before? I played them a few times. I'm not a big fan of shooter games. I mean, like, I played, like, Dark Titan, that was fun. Hell Divers 2 is currently my. Probably one of my favorite games to play, but. I'm just not a big shooter guy, usually. Which is a shame, because I know that the shooters are quite beloved by many. I've always just found them really weird. Like, it's such a strange odd decision to go for. Oh, Flame Tiles here now, that's okay. I don't think it's a big deal, but I will keep that in mind. Oh, crap, hold up. I forgot about that could happen. Uh, piano's here. That was here. Okay then, well, I, I think we're good. You can't be totally totally balanced, trust. Curious injunction tells you to use a test of character. It'll take at least two years people to realize Pokemon cannot even Allo exists. Oh crap, I didn't realize like I was there. I was on my phone. Oh no. I did need to lose that mower. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah. It'll take people a while. I think it'll just yeah, take people a while because I think QBs was introduced really stupidly. I genuinely hate the fact it was introduced the way it was. It's like, okay. I have a history of talking about plan intros on my channel. Introducing a plant in a situation where it's not doing what it should be doing is generally not helpful. It has a really bad habit of making things worse and making plants like complicated and whatnot. PPK is convinced as well. I don't use one at all. QB has a higher DPS than it does an Althus. And costs 125 stun and has more HP. 
Kiwis is insane. Just, just generally. It's fun plan to use in general. Kiwis is like one of my favorites, but. God damn, it's powerful. Kiwi video win. I've kind of moved away from doing plans by vi videos by individual plans, to be honest with you. But I know, maybe we'll do it one day. Hard to say, really. Don't text and plan. This is this is quite bad, yeah. Do you mind missing dressing marshmallow as a hell? I think people, some people are. I personally love it, but I can definitely see it being too much for some people. I definitely prefer it over Flora Dressing Marsh. Still buy for my favorite Dressing Marsh, and it's not close. <laughs> Be level Kiwi. Is that really a surprise, though, to anyone? Ah, crap, it, it's not showing dialogue, okay. But I care about the law, so we're gonna restart the level so we get to dialogue. <laughs> That's almost all some of the fellow yes. That's fair. I think Jurassic Marsh and Alvarez was a bit of a tune in general. But a few reasons for that, and I think a lot of it's just because the rate at which the intern internal players are getting better is different than the rate that the external players are getting better. So the correct difficulty kind of shifts a lot. And Jurassic Marsh had a lot of new love alternate bait or like bait has creating levels and things. So we're still so still very much a learning experience for a lot of people. But I still think it's fun. I do quite like it. I just think it's one of those cases where with Dressing Marsh, you have to be very wary with it. It's always going to be kind of difficult. Ah, crap, we can't much have a dialogue now because it's a... Right, okay. <laughs> I hate dialogue like this. Are there any Zombos Files out there, or just this quest? There's one right now. I believe this is the only one right now. Please. Okay, actually, I, I, there's, a, there's a good way to give the dialogue from this level. Hold on. Go! Let me lose! So I can exit the level. We can get the dialogue for the level, finally! I love how janky easy 2 is. This is so normal. This is so standard. I love how normal PZ2 is as a game. Why is the bug? Like, what even causes this bug where dialogue just doesn't play for a quest sometimes? Legitimately, what internal spaghetti is going on here? I just like Crimson Front or whatever is going to be as annoying. I feel like, unfortunately, Crimson Front will have, end up being half addressing Marsh will be. There's a few reasons for that. Uh, I can't go into them, but I think fundamentally it'll be a harder world. So, Dr. Zomboss, what's our last trial? Oh, I'm glad you asked. An intelligent machine like you must have figured out already, but this was leaked from the start. Nevertheless, it's all for a great cause. I can't let myself be love the festivities. It's my time to shine. I apologize in advance to my lax and budget management. Neptune is stuck by toll. Does the machine may ask? It's me! I I love I love fanboy zombos, let's go. This is truly remarkable. <laughs> Things that dressing much zombies gaming fully to find our own terms often or not. That's also true, yeah. A lot of people don't like well, I'm really sure how to do all that yet, yeah. I, I think it's just kind of a tricky world in general, to be honest. I do think dressing march and Alphas is definitely really tricky compared to most things so far. But I also don't see it getting easier from here is kind of my point. I 
I am putting these on a type. I realize it's my mistake in putting them there. Uh, it's fine. No big deal. I think the effect is the first time was an L versus <laughs> is whack, yeah. It's just kind of how it ended up being because of release days and things. Okay, this is first phase is a bit difficult. Okay, it's under control again. That's the good news. We're not like completely out of our class. That that's progress. Up. Oh. Okay, that's probably fine because it's a slow animation. Up. Oh, nope. You just missed. Incredible Zomboss. <laughs> Your aim is immaculate. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, where are you aiming for, Zomboss? So you can hit anything? Uh, no, you just you just killed Frog. Incredible, Zomboss. This was worth your time. Come on. I actually know that balloons can't hit Zomboss, so that's actually interesting. Frog can. Frog did like a million damage. Oh. Oh, I know, it's almost kind of when they move. That, that's a weird mechanic. Okay. I mean, we're gonna take a while, I guess, about like PZ hitboxes being the most jank thing ever. Because that feels like a hitbox moment to me. I think I have to, oh, maybe drop in difficulty with the bigger beach. I actually think it's a bit of an interesting conversation there. Uh, I think we were talking about this before in like a different stream, but drafting Marsh, genuinely speak, genuinely, generally speaking, is hard because you need to play around a gimmick specifically. You need to pick the right plants, so you need to make sure you're picking a lot of the primal plants and know how to use them well. But if you don't do that, then. But if you don't. If, if you don't pick your decks properly, things actually get quite difficult if you're not doing it right. Okay, let's see what Zomboss does this face. Okay, Chicken Wrangler, Bug, I see. Uh, that's a Brainstorm Wave, I am going to try to deny that. Oh yeah, I've had a mistake now, okay. So basically they spawn a spawn lump of zombies, then trade another wave essentially. Trigger the buff, buff, essentially. But it doesn't do anything if we just spam Boom Balloon. Because Boom Balloon is a really strong plant. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not the absorb the scary, but we have a firepower. I love just clicking on heads. Oh, well, please don't do that. Zomboss, that does that kind of sucks. Uh, top lane is a. That's fine. Uh, snap's got it. Cool. 
Uh, I cannot put down any more plants, really, so that's a shame. You just have to take a buzz, I think. Thank you for your advice, boss. I never figured out too bad I need to attack the boss in a boss fight. Thank you so much for your great advice once again. There's this way you did. I actually does disagree. I, don't, I think while Drasimod definitely does expect you to have better have know what you're doing with deck building, and still very much play without knowing what you're doing. It is it's only trickier, but you still can definitely do it. Okay. Okay, HP buffs, okay. Zomboss buffed their own H buffed her. Buffed their own HP. <laughs> so we have to make sure we deal with that. Oh hello, Raiders. Uh Fine, I am I am out of plan through now, I believe, which is a shame, but we'll do what we can. And also we get to re replace some of these plants with more nightcaps. Great. Pop, and a pop, and a pop. The top lane is Gigantus. Okay, you are dying soon. I missed while I was trying to hit there. That's fine. Oh, crap. That is quite... We got Halpian. That was fine. <laughs> that could have been a problem. Could have been a problem. I see the world where that was a very big problem. I'm just driving from it, let's make sure we don't live in it. Uh, I believe if we can just get a few more hits off, we're good. Ow! Okay, we... We are in a great spot if we can't kill Zombos very, very soon. Okay, I think I think that's almost gone. Okay, please. Okay, thank God. <laughs> so it's totally good, God. So it's a good plan. So it's fine. It appears I must accept my defeat. You completed my festive trials. Part of being an humble adversary is knowing when to stop. Or is it? To another where and another when. Good job, neighbor. So long as the departure put an end for Tremors. All the timeline should now be hopefully safe from any danger. Another note, I need to use a day flowing somewhere between science and space. We should go pick him up. <laughs> Why didn't launch along Doom Shroom plant food? What's the logic behind that? They wanted to put Doom Shroom in the game, but they Popka wanted to put Doom Shroom in the game, but they didn't know how to do it. So they just plant food this instead. It works fine, honestly. I'm not super bothered by it. It does the job just fine. Anyways, that's our first quest of the day completed. Only took us 40, 50 minutes. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's do Remedy for Love next, because there's some fun stuff in here. So this has a bunch of new things because of how this quest set up. Initially, the Valenbrain zombies were endless exclusive, but over time they eventually had this. Multiple zombies? Time flies so fast! Several other timeline trips later, I figured out why that's the case. Trying back to hold we already celebrated would cause the universe to explode. So advice against the spirit. Advice against the spirit, ultimately, is Dave. I was gonna try myself, which is a machine can. I'm not sure how much my love I can handle. Maybe it's holiday, holidays of a damn just both plants and zombies will cheer you up. Amazing. 
I absolutely love the vibes, by the way. A anyways, we're gonna quickly... Can we buy Daisy Chain, actually? Just to be the entire world for it first. I, I forget. Like, you know, I'm gonna please double check I can do that. I forget if you can buy Daisy Chain early. This one's gonna be great. You have to voice act this, and I know the I know the plot of this. So I, I'm I'm not looking forward to this. There's gonna be some very cool moments in this. Sea spill too. She hates everyone edition, just like real woman. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we can buy a daisy chain. Okay, we're gonna buy it. It's a daisy chain then. Eh. Oh boy, we got some extra chili bean packets. This is amazing. <laughs> Good thing there aren't any women in chat. <laughs> true, true. WTF Chief keeps cancelled. True. I love gambling, but it isn't real gambling. It's funny bit of all plans that has it is chili bean gambling that's important. Okay, let's get Jay's data chain up. They are a heavy attacker now with a heavy focus on stun. So use them as a stunner. I absolutely love the vibes of the music, by the way. It's good. Uh, what else do we do here? Can we do Galava nonsense? Galava's quite good. We'll bring Charm for early game. Uh, why don't we bring Tuntum? We've got Primal Sun Slapper idea. Genius. I'll bring you and I'll bring Solia for the hell of it. You should get the bacon. Good, good point. I'll, I'll be bring. I forgot to bring bacon. My bad. Okay, I'll see. Get some guavas down so I can do some heating. We'll do that. Doing a bit. Uh, this this'll do just fine. I can kill them both. Nice. Okay. We should have brought my ham. True, true. We need more premium ham. Uh, what? Actually hit the other one? No. Okay. I hate mediums. Okay, I have to find some way to be this, kill this thing, get the thing on the back. Ah, yes, we first have health calls in this level. Uh, we might be fine. Maybe. Ah, oh, bears love spreader. Okay. I don't. I, th I think we. I think you have kind of. Somewhat shown what Love Spread does. I think we fought him once in the bloody Flourish quest because that was our introduction level of all things. Don't, don't ask. It, it's a weird little thing. Uh, but basically, they create love it. They create, create love. They create like that little air of effect, and they think zombies are there to take damage. So do plants. It's a dollar version of Sea Spill from. Big Bay Beach. They, they kind of help you out a bit. They, they're kind of weird. Okay, let's get some more UFs up. Let's get that heating up.
Okay, we got that. Uh, we can try to kill you a bit more. Okay, we're fine. Let's see, why the heck they spend a good chunk of resource cushion during the some Valentine's new zombies? Uh, there's a reason for that, actually, and I think it's, I think internally it was because uh, for the reflux for the crossover event, it was considered for a lot of the a lot of the alpha stuff that the people be coming in from Reflourish to play it, if I recall. Well, I could be totally wrong on that. So a lot of the quest was kind of designed with that in mind to introduce alpha stuff on that end. Though I could be wrong on that, because it's been a while. But I'm pretty sure that was part of the reasoning why it's like the way it is. Which makes sense when you think about it. It's still a bit strange, but there is a, there is a pretty good reason for it. Red Primal Sunflower, we have to do this again. Uh, I love piercing cold. <laughs> okay. Okay, if I do this, I get fully grown and I can start stalling. Because I need a lot of stalling, because I am needing to find a way to kill a Gagantua. Which is not posing easy. And the top lane is. G Great, wonderful. This is why we run heaters against any kind of freezing. Because otherwise, this crap happens and this is not good. <laughs> this is functionally useless. <laughs> and a big problem. Okay, well, good news that that's all the wind gone. You should bring Harpy in. Harpy would be great in this level, just deal with the belief. I hate Frost's mechanics so much. I think to this day, I can't think of a single case where the Frost mechanics made a PvZ2 level better. Like, ever. I think it's always just made levels worse. Ah, whatever. Level's over. That's the dub. I think the whole thing with PvZ, with others introducing itself, makes more sense when you consider internally it was considered a way to be able to actually show what Outburst was to people who didn't know. It's weird on paper, but in practice, it does make more sense. Because a lot of the Abandoned Brain Zombies were the more fancy stuff that Albert and Refluxed Gen actually have, if I recall. Because they were added later, later after the Refluxed, after the Conference episode was finalized, essentially. Okay, so why is that Tiger thing in the bottom left? Yes. And I was maybe wondering why I'm doing this. Uh, if it's a bit of a cheese with Daisy Chain, you can kind of do. And I'm not sure if that's going to end up happening here, but it is interesting. Uh, because a Daisy Chain Trainer's growth is tied to how much shots it fires, it doesn't. It means you can kind of control how fast it grows in a level and such. But if I do what I'm doing here, which essentially was wasting shots and nothing, in theory, if I'm right, which I may not be. You might just be able to get a higher tier quicker, <laughs> which might be nice for this level. You can lose your tube, Chester. Oh, does that also work later on? Okay, well, it's too bad. Ah, okay. So we'll do this then. Uh. 
I keep a fan up, I should be fine. I didn't think that through, actually. <laughs> yeah, is there dialogue in this level, actually? Can someone quickly check to make sure we don't miss any dialogue for this quest? Because I, I, know, I know we can lose some, and I don't want to lose as much dialogue as possible. <laughs> That's no dialogue, nice. Okay. If I miss dialogue, just let me know, chat, because I don't, don't know what the dialogue is. I just know what know exactly what kind of style it's going for. Cool. Okay. Love spray is top priority. Okay, now we can just kill these guys down here. Two, three, four, and five. Oh, now nope, we can grab as well. Nice. You just got have an end of quest. Make sure you don't miss any dialogue. Good to know I can do that. Wait, no. Okay, nice. I'm trying to make sure I did actually do the same thing again. I don't think I need to micromanage the growth of Daisy Chain this level. I think. I hate the name Love Spreader. It sure is a name. Oh, yeah, wait, this happens. Great. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take a while to get and save the weasels have to be gone first. Oh, I guess you can try to time a burst from this. Eh, no, we'll just do this first. Okay. I don't think we have to time a burst to kill the weasel here. We should just be able to do this. Yeah, okay, that works just fine. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can do this properly. Okay, growth now. At tier 3, stage 3, Daisy Chain starts throwing free projectiles. So I believe it actually starts stunning it like three times as fast, which is nice. I don't think I would have been fine, but I just left it. Okay, cool. Okay, now we'll just double up in this. Okay. Okay, we got a bit more there. Uh, we need to stop playing. Okay. Is that why we're still looking on Yes. That's the actual reason, in case anybody was curious for whatever reason. It's like a side effect of how it actually works, which is nice. It's an important side effect, it makes it make plan make more sense, but still. It's interesting. Okay. Let's see if I can just like get the thing growing a bit more. 
Okay, here we go. Got two max at once. Nice. Okay, yep. Here needs to. I'll leave this on here because I don't know what I'm doing here for now. Okay. Actually, okay, wait, I'm doing this to stop you. Okay. Didn't quite recognize that at first. Okay, now we're doing this. Weasel up here, it's up down here, that's fine. I'll replace you. I assume it's with level 1s from me. Okay, actually, we're putting you up here, it seems. Okay, this should actually prevent a weasel spawn, I believe. It does not, it did not. Okay, that's, that's annoying. But fine. Okay, go. Ah, crap, they lost a the spring bean. Okay. That might be annoying. Didn't mean to lose that. And I don't like losing that. Because I feel like I was meant to use it. But there's another weasel water in this. Why were you so far back? Okay, well, fair enough then. No clue why you were that far back. I guess just to make the little e I am now even more confused. Uh Don't think that was meant to happen, chat, gonna be honest there. That did not feel very intended to me. Like at all. I'm gonna elect to not question it for the time being, I think. Okay, there we go. Could kill you now. Uh, Hocus, if you wouldn't mind. Incredible. <laughs> Crocus is so good. I thought Oak could get hit behind it, okay? I, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that wasn't my fault, but Oak is just being a piece of crap. Okay? I accept no blame for this. He's plant food a second earlier. Now, generally, it's always hit somebody's flood. Okay, but split pea can. Like, generally, it's not even correct. A lot of plants can do that. I just assumed it would be normal. This will be okay. It's just a random example. Like, most plants attack if I have projectiles can hit behind them just fine. Being calm zero usually doesn't matter. Like, I think e berry can hit behind it. I swear I've seen it do that before. General. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I played well. I made zero notable mistakes. It's fine. I blame the game.
Ah, oh, crap, I can't beat you now. Okay, restart. <laughs> This one might take a while. It's a very long Oh no, okay, corral. Okay. And I am legally left to Shut up. I would dummy do it, that's fine. This is not okay. There are good not okay corral levels. I don't think the con level concept is just outright bad, but like... I feel like it's important to note, as I do make levels quite often, making good not okay corral levels is some of the hardest type of levels to make. Just because fundamentally they're really tricky to get right. He's over hate Valentine's Day. You imply that I'm the kind of person who even cares in the first place about Valentine's Day? So that was because he has a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I remember the first time anybody ever said that because everybody just assumed I'm gay, <laughs> which is kind of funny to me. Because it's not good dialogue, we don't miss it. I, I know, we're going for dialogue. Uh, we will miss it if we get past this level at some point. <laughs> Okay, we need at least one knockback here. Oh, for God's sake! I didn't know that could happen. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That sucks. Ah, <sighs> truly incredible. Okay, who's here? Use okay, so it'll be We get a new uh, Char God soon anyway, so I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Next wave, like this, okay. We're trying to go do the top one first. Okay, deal with this wheel of in that lane. Oh wait, you need to go finish you off. Okay. Oh, no, that, that worked. I'm surprised that worked, actually. Oh, for God's sake! Wait, wait, wait! I wasn't playing Landis Green, I thought I was fine, but... <laughs> God's sake! <laughs> they were long dead. <laughs> that was not my fault, you cannot convince me it was my own fault. The weasel was dead, I was reading chat, but then was, I, just, I just hear the weasel noises all of a sudden, out of nowhere. Come on. <laughs> 
this is just becoming hell. Why are Weasel Hoarders so jank today? I've never seen them be this jank. Incredible. <laughs> Amateur. Oh, this is gonna be a long stream today, isn't it? <laughs> well, get a. Better just get right in. My ball does hold ice cream, just mean this level and nothing else. I can't believe we found a level to, to beat that one reprise level. Finally. The sequel to that one reprise level we were all waiting for. Okay, well. Why is it on the jester? I'm growing, growing daily chain. That's all I'm doing. Okay, take one of these. Idiots. I'm gonna just deal damage on the bottom lane for now and just move this one around to deal with the weasel as they spawn. When they spawn. And for the love of god, wait until they fully spawn. Okay, cool. I believe we'll need one charred push, and that should be all we need, I believe. I'm not sure how much of reserving a charred really matters here, but we're doing it. Spring bean goes here. Okay, you them die first. I guess move the bears as well. We'll try to grow this thing up as much as possible. What thing fumes red zombie do? Have a deal of damage to zombies and plants within it. Okay. Are we done? Okay, we're done. Okay, this wave. Keep an eye on the got dung weevils. Because they are an absolute pain and I hate them so much. I have this wave after my cat out because they've suddenly woken up and wants to leave a room. Okay, I'll lay you on a bit, bit ratchet, don't worry. You have not been forgotten. Yet. <laughs> okay. They will spawn the weasels. They will spawn the weasels. Okay. <laughs> Go, leave, can't chew. Am I even left? The cat is left. No more meow meow. <laughs> cat abuse? <laughs> okay, let's see. Double checking. Whoa, why is it? Okay. This level sucks so much the game is starting to break apart because of it. This is incredible. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, this has to be here. It has to move into the Jester. We kill the Jester first, uh, always. Oh, wait, crap. No, that, we, you were not meant to be first. You were not meant to be first. <laughs> okay, why is it lagging so much now? <laughs> 
I love 5 years. Yeah, I love it when a game just emulate just crashes and crashes. Just starts being weird and don't does this. It's always fun. I don't know what's caused it when it starts slowing down a lot. It might be the internet, but I'm really not sure. Like <laughs> Okay, actually, uh, ignore the scuff. We are just going to turn the internet now quickly. Maybe it'll work better. Maybe. Or not. Why is it taking so long to load? Uh, my emulator is not happy. <laughs> like at all. Ah, God. I got just get by the ad. It was, it was loading ads. That's clearly what was happening. I blame the ads because I think it's funny. Okay. Will you run better now? <laughs> Most functional day for me, Mew. Emulators suck so much. I hate them. They're barely functional pieces of crap. Okay, cool. Average emulator? Yeah. I guess we restock you. I don't think we do anything. We need to do anything else, sir. Okay, we do this first. Nope, you have range rats, we're not gonna do that. Okay, there's a weasel horde in the back there. That's fine, I guess. Realistically, I'm already set up a deal with it, and this might actually just prevent everything from going off, which would be nice. Gonna be belly player. I, it's a retro on. I just use Mimi at this point because it's what I've been using for years and years. I do not want that to happen game, but whatever, it's fine. Hey, can you sing this level for 20 minutes? I, I feel like we lost like three to four times. We haven't lost that much. It just takes so long to go through everything. I only was easy to experience I've had to just simply casting my under screen to my phone. Yeah, that, that's sensible. Oh. Really, been, really, really be doing that and that kind of thing if it wasn't fact I'm streaming, to be honest. Okay, just don't, just don't touch the love sprayers and hope to God they do something. Uh, nope, they did not do that. Okay. Of course it was you. Okay, it's fine. Okay, now Chester, for the love of God, don't be an idiot. Okay, here we go. Maybe we can get you killed this time. Please. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are we done? Is there one more wave left? There's one more wave left. Okay, that should be it. Um. 
That level is way too long, unfortunately. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I crave death. What do these do deserve just a fast death? He was ready for it. That's all I'm gonna say on that fact. Penny, where have you been? I was also playing Daisy Chain to our neighbor. I was busy researching the concept of love. You intrigued me, Musa Dave. And I was ready to install my self programmed love plugin. The rise we're getting lovesick. Man, these Avis. Miss Pavlala, can we play it? Uh, yeah, sure, very cool. Okay, so you ready for... Are you ready for the dialogue to begin? <laughs> the hard dialogues are coming. <laughs> Playing with Legend finished. Nishing system reboot. <laughs> oh god. For another the reason to travel, you have a bug. Yeah. Okay. Hello, oh, sweetheart. See those kids within your wall? So all the zombie making magic happens. For the minute, I don't need to reach the right side of the machine. But I prefer a hands on approach. <laughs> Wanna step inside? <laughs> Love heart. Um, I think I'll pass! <laughs> Albert's dialogue is the best dialogue in the game! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I don't know why they chose to do this, but it's incredibly stupid. Okay, we're gonna bring some plants for damage. I uh, will bring. I'll bring. Where's Daisy Chain? Does Daisy Chain just, just Daisy Chain disappear? Where, where are they? Oh, I, I, I've heard them. Okay, I was confused for a second. Thoughts, what have you done? <laughs> that is an accurate, that is a great question right now. Well, I guess we're running you and Dathed Lamin, because Lamin's quite good. Okay, this this gimmick is quite simple, though it can be kind of a problem. Because it's funny, you quite do it. I can't wait for a voice reveal. Yeah, I, I love, I, I love voice reveals, my favorite kind of content. Does Lemon do more damage to Tommy's gifts? Yes. As Lemon will do more damage to all grid items, and gifts are a grid item. Anyways, that's what the gimmick does. If a zombie spawns to a right and goes through that line, it'll spawn a zombie. To be intimidating, uh, the, the zombie you've shown here is a zombie you'll turn into. Uh, there's a conid one here. They get worse from here. <laughs> There are some very strong versions of these things. You have to be wary of them. Because they can get bad quickly. Can I spawn gogs? I'll get back to you on that. I forgot! I thought... whatever. This is why we have Guava. Secretly the best line of the game. I'm um, glad here as well. Oh, of course you are. Why wouldn't you be here? Okay. As well, uh, they have a t they, they can't just activate constantly. Uh, the eyes tell you when they're active or not, if it's not clear. Thankfully, spawning additional basics rarely matters. 
Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's a bad idea. Why am, I, why am I pushing him back to the other side? Okay. Thank God, I almost created an impotent cycle of them. I did not mean to do that. That was, that was not my intention. Okay. We have to we have to do the objective later in this level. Uh, I guess now we can probably try to do it after this after this wave. Okay, here we'll do it now. Things are getting a bit slower. It does mean that we're gonna get these things triggered at some point, but that's fine. We'll do this quickly, just to clear up. There's the plant food. Yep. We're almost done, I believe. Okay, objective's complete. Okay, now we have to try to actually survive. Okay, nice. Okay, I believe we might be good to go, maybe? Uh, one more data chain, we've got a full call out, which should hopefully prevent us from activating these machines too much. I feel like we've activated them like a lot more than we should be, but I don't think it matters because I think we've kind of... It just goes celery is celery, thankfully. That's granted, that's like literally the only reason we're fine here. <laughs> celery is such an absolute godsend. Sun and not planet, or don't spend sun. It's don't spend sun, so iceberg can go with it, essentially, if that's what you're asking. Realistically, I forgot about the objective, and I just don't think it matters. Don't spend, X, don't spend sun for X seconds objective is kind of really often not a big deal. It's usually quite easy, because generally speaking, there's a stage of the game where you don't have to place anything down anymore. Because how PvZ is as a game. The challenge is now, we have to actually get this level beaten in time, which we may actually not get to do. Okay, that... We might be fine, maybe. Okay, top, this is gonna be a problem. We'll do a few. What does Lemon do? Acid Lemon does extra damage to grid items and armored zombies. It's a good plant. That gives you anxiety. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see this one doing giving you anxiety. It's quite rough. Okay, next one. Let's go. Did my bad idea in love with finish finally before someone reaches, reaches the left side? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. You got a heck of a problem, neighbor. Then I get rid of Penny's plugin! She oh, versus love too broadly. I think we can ask a zombie fairy to transfer my back. And get any wish you need, baby. Not just free. Is there anyone else, anyone else we need, really? Okay, well, gr grand grandmother's here. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Get things set up. We'll try a call snap, snap strategy here. Why not? At this point, I'm begging for Mo. <laughs> Just trying what's Penny on about. Uh, they've researched love and injected their love plugin. It's not good. 
Okay, so they, they work kind of differently than normal. They got a very distinct difference about them. Which I'll probably be showing quite shortly once I pick my deck properly. Which is probably going to be Enduring because I feel like doing Enduring Strat. Uh, we can deal with basic, basic spam, it's not a big deal. We'll have nothing to kill them, but that's actually fine. Uh, I guess we'll pick, like, Spike Weed, just for extra damage. And I guess Fire Mob if things go really wrong. What's bacon for? It's the best plant. Okay, we put salary here to deal for machines again. Uh, we can actually put up some clouds in column one because we have literally nothing that wants to go there again. Okay, we're still good, I believe. Ah, uh, we'll do two columns today. I don't think we need more sunflowers. We, we, we want to get like one column of these guys out. We're good. Okay, fairy godmother. Okay. So, uh, they are a night zombie. They do this, you know, night zombies work. Ah, uh, this is my B problem. <laughs> it's fine. But yeah, as you can see, after some amount of time, we leave. So they're not a massive problem. But they can kill you quite quickly if you're not being careful. Oh, and, uh, second difference, they work on everything. Every single zombie in this world, including the Gargantua, can gain the helmets. So, yeah, that is a bit more scary. Okay, uh, you're almost dead, but that's fine. But yeah, even the Imps with Helmets on can be a really big problem, just because they go so fast. So, that's how Fairy Godmother works. Now that we can this, yes. Uh, it's important to note that Alvers. Helmets have less HP than a bucket head, but more HP than a cone head. I believe it's like 800, 900 HP each. So, they're not as bad as they could be. But they're still scary, and I don't like them. On some specials, they can be a genuine problem. Which is kind of why we're stalling them all to death. With some all good old fashioned cold snapdragon strats. Imagine weasels with helmet. Would be that dangerous because unfortunately weasels do like no damage, like ever. But it would be very funny. Do helmet raiders not move faster? Yeah, they do. Originally, I think a lot of people don't remember this, but Valen brains didn't have anything unique to it, it had literally had no unique zombies. So they made the basics move faster to compensate. But still faster to this day. Because why would they change it? That'd be kinda weird. Can I get a night helmet? Uh, sadly no, because the knights aren't a valent brain zombie. For record, very good and very good mother only works on Valen Brain zombies. It doesn't work on every zombie in the game, because that would be like way too much work. 
Like an actually ungodly amount of effort. Because we have to like reanimate every single zombie to have helmets on. It's a bit of a problem. Okay, we beat it. Okay, next level. Let's go. Halfway through, apparently. Most of most of most you make cancer all day. That's because it's the most newest one. I mean, Heroic Shadow is more Final Fantasy. I think Heroic Shadow's got a better zombie selection in terms of being unique. Okay, chain time. Yay. Uh, at least you have gold tiles, I guess. We'll go try to do some ram strats here, I think. I'm going to... Oh, we have oh, fishermen's here. I forgot about fishermen. Uh, we have to bring some tools to kill them, I, it would appear. We'll bring you. We could try redirection. Uh, I say we can move these zombies out, because this will be a large chain, but that'll move into this lane, which is not much better. Uh, you, you know what? We'll try redirection. Full redirection strat, let's go. So we'll bring current. For our general DPS. We'll cut you out, because we want to bring... Um, Who is he? Where is he? A banana launcher we want to bring, who is down... Here. For the game control. Okay, we've got Teletail for our early game, which will be fine, maybe. Let's see how this deck works. Because I'm not confident it will, but... Y you never know, I guess. It's technically possible. Heart of the Sea is also here, good to know. Well, I tried, that did not work out for me. Oh well. Sucks to suck, I guess. Uh, this is gonna be a problem. Uh... Yeah, this is a problem. Okay, let's see here. Please work this time. Okay. We've got, a, we've got a chain up, so that's fine. That's something. We've got s at the beginnings of the thing up. But unfortunately, this, we've got to deal with this crap again. Get, again. Still. Can I kill you early? Uh, no, I can't. Well, that sucks. Okay, we've done that. Nice. Okay, we'll move this because we don't want to plug lanes up that badly. And tell the importers here, that's fine. Importers are a problem. This is this is more of a problem. Uh, we'll do this. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. That is the worst case scenario. That is the actual worst case scenario. Uh, okay. Oh, crap. 
I was too busy focusing, I didn't notice what on earth was going on over here. Okay, great. Uh, okay, we're not dead. Uh, you can go here. I didn't even know how you died there. Okay, we have to go get more crap back up. Nice. Okay, that's fine. I was just making sure that Garg didn't do anything stupid. If another one spawns down here, we might be in trouble. Okay, we're fine for now. Uh, we have to kill you, because you will be annoying if I don't deal with you somehow. We have banana, we can do this. Okay. This one can be here. Oh, for God's sake, no! And you put a... <sighs> oh, for God's sake! That is so annoying. <laughs> that is not helping in the slightest. Nice. Pain, suffering. I can't believe we we cleared up a fairy gum of only for the fisherman to spawn right in that spot. Uh, okay, we we are we are probably not doing this again. <laughs> Snoopy and Kona Cannon. Snoopy is obviously good. Zombies are just really good against anything that does buffs, speed buffs in general, so probably is correct. Also, just chips way better. Part of my, me wants to do Electric Peach to this Bamba, so I'm gonna try that. That might work nicely in this level. We'll see. No redirection. No, no redirection because we got EP, so we don't need it. I guess instead we'll just bring instances to kill all the crap that's gonna be a problem. And I guess actually we'll bring, still bring Banana just to deal. We'll bring Banana to place down one so we can just type everything. I oh, know. Ah, uh, Ghost Pepper. That's the one we need. That's the one we need. Can he burn ball? But. <sighs> in this level, I feel like the, 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 like the lanes that it's bad in are, coincidentally, the scariest lanes, so I'm not gonna even give it a shot. It never levels in my work by now. At this point, levels are just kind of really tricky, so I'd rather not waste attempts trying to get, admittedly, the gimmicky plan up and up and running. Oh, I do wish I could. I do enjoy the plan a lot. Okay, we put you there. Because you, this will be triggered always. I can't stop that right now without wasting more resources. But what this should be able to do is just clear it all up for me. Yep, perfect timing. Nice.
Okay, here we go. Okay, hold off a bit. Double tater should clear that lane up. Nice. Uh, we need to get another EP on the middle lane ASAP before things start going terribly wrong. Okay. I mean, probably EP plan food if it needs to be here. Which makes things a bit more controllable. Uh, I'm gonna just do that there to stop that from happening. Ah, crap, hold on. <laughs> That's not what I'm going to put there, but panicking is panicking. Okay. Heart of the sea is a problem. <laughs> Please die. Oh, thank God. I forgot I put you down. Okay, nice. That's something at least. Okay. EP, please, ah! Okay. Why let's reject time machines? Uh, code reasons. EP is like the most painful plan to actually work with because it just does this crap. It will hit anything that exists, even if it can't be hit. If, like, if I recall, it sometimes hits like gold tiles as well. It, it, it does get dumb. I oh, for God's sake! Okay, maybe we should just try to bring literally any staller to make this level like, e like, easier. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Help. Okay, I'm just gonna restart that because I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay, just bring any slowdown and then we're good. What happened? A really annoying Heart of Sea nonsense, essentially. It can be a frustrating mechanic. <sighs> Don't take forever. I mean. I can just beat it by bringing Snoopy, it solves all our problems in a single slot. Or like, win a melon for late game. Eh. I'll throw in a melon just a hell of it. I don't use win a melon often. We'll bring it up. Walls might also be a bad shout. I couldn't end up bringing any walls, but that's just because I'm using EP strats where you don't really want zombies to clump up in the first place. Uh, okay, we'll bring we'll bring our winner melon slow wall strat, I guess. I forgot you exist as well, we have to kill you. Uh Guava's like the best killer in the game. And um, we need a plan somewhere. Uh, who do I bring? I guess we should probably bring something for early game, maybe. 
Rango is acid lemon. I don't know if that's correct. Eh, I probably should actually work quite nicely here. Okay. Take whatever this is. <laughs> that doesn't just naturally solve your problems. Not really. I mean, it's helpful, but I don't think it's that good here. Pumpkin's a weird plan I thought a lot about, but I think fundamentally in PZ2, Pumpkin rarely is that helpful. It's good if you're specifically synergizing with melee plants, but if you're not, then it's usually way too much cost for too little benefit. It might be one of the humor plans I think you can make a full video out of and be interesting to talk about, because it's a very interesting case where it's a plan that's theoretically helpful, but in practice it's kind of really meh in most cases. Might be a fun video to make someday. Me. Ah, uh, hold on. Okay, well, of course, right. Okay, Doki. And of course you, right. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, this level very clearly wants you to bring Snoopy. Uh. Middle slash we clip on in front of the machine. It's fine. I don't like it, though, for a few reasons, to be honest with you. I'm um, putting because you have to bloody stop this happening up there. Uh, the issue is with that becomes the fact that I don't... I mean, she mostly comes to the melee you'd use this bloody Kiwi Beast, and I don't use Kiwi Beast again because I know it's broken. Like, straight up, I think if you can all agree that Kiwi Beast probably is too much, anyways, and I don't want to try to use a plant that I know is too good. Because that just feels kind of cheap to me. I have to kill you. Okay, you're gone at least. That's you just you leaving. That's something at least. Okay. These levels get get really fast paced really quick. It is the gimmick, ultimately. Okay, let's get our first lowy down, boy. Ah, uh, that's... That's fine, I think. Just see everything slow down quickly. Uh, lane 4 death means a winner melon. I need one up. Please, thank you. And later on, I'm gonna have to try to move us move that wall further upwards, so I don't just keep spawning bucket heads every ten seconds. Okay. I think it's lands just to be a wall here, just because you have to block them off somehow. Otherwise, you just take so much. Stop spawning in that lane. <laughs> Like, that's like the paint most miserable lane you can spawn in. Stop being there! Oh crap, they're spawning in the- Please stop going in this bloody tile. Screw you two. Okay. One problem feature knock back into the control thing. Problem feature just stuns an outburst. It doesn't doesn't actually deal proper damage. 
So it's not a t as bad as it may initially seem. It only knocks back when you're doing his plant food effects. Uh, please don't be hit hitting the plant. It's hitting the zombies. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, I'm getting the sense that this level is very bounced around Snow Pea. And the worst part is that I'm... Pr I, I said I, there might be hard levels in this. I can think of one level that might actually be hard for this coming up, which I know exists. I'm now slightly concerned. For God's sake, stop doing this! This lane is the actual worst. I want that lane to die in a fire. This single lane has caused me so much pain. It is actually a misery. <laughs> Okay, I think we're probably done here. As in, we've lost. I don't think we can be in this situation. There's a tent here! Of course there's a tent. Uh. Yeah, I just think... Okay, we'll just use Snoopy. I was kind of avoiding using Snoopy because internally there's been a lot of discussion around it, but it looks like Snoopy's basically required here. Because Jesus Christ. Okay, hopefully we can do things a bit better this time. Now we actually have slow down. Then you just have a stopping a stubby. You probably use kernel then, which is also a plan that solves a gimmick. There's a lot of ways to do the like slow down effects quite cheaply in this, but it's kind of important. I think it's Ilza's rally was was gonna have you know it would be much worse than Jurassic March. I think he, I think it's I think this is like one of the things I think about quite often because I do think a lot about placement. This is plant intros is kind of thing that in my head are always with me. I always associate my channel with plant with like where plants are placed in mods and things for like a very sick reason that nobody remembers, but to me it matters a lot. Uh, so like where a plant is placed is pretty much the most important aspect of a plant being introduced. If a plant is bad in its own world, you're basically setting a plant up for failure. Like, QB's best world is pretty much any world that's not Lobbly Jurassic Marsh in Outverse. Which is kind of why it's. why a lot of people keep sometimes think it's a bit of a weak plant, even though it's very clearly not. Because it's introduced into a, 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 one of the worst worlds for it. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna ignore that top lane. I don't care. And this lane is active again. <laughs> Like, to be honest, this is the kind of level I probably enjoy in my own time, but on a stream it's kind of a bit more frustrating because I'm trying to actually make progress and be funny. Instead of just being the same level over and over again. Well, Memo Beach. Pretty good example. I agree. I've, I've, I it is definitely a big example of that, but uh, I think like, I think, like bloody uh, Eccles is, for, for this, is bad for this sometimes. And some of the plants in that mod tend to be put in the wrong places, so even though they're quite good, People, like, forget about them very quickly. Because sometimes they're just in the exact wrong place they need to be in to be good. I'm sometimes with Alphos as well, like, some plants are just in the wrong world outright. I think it sometimes with Flourish quite a bit too. I think, like, some plants in Reflourish have a problem as well. Like, I think Hot Day is kind of... Actually, Hot Day is kind of generally bad in Reflourish. It's a really weak plant though. Hmm. Right. I 
If we lose here, we'll probably end up having to just do blow some redirection traps again. Because just, just to say all that top to top bottom lanes, because Jesus Christ. They're way too brutal. Like, Tallane especially. It's way too easy for zombies to get past this. Because it, usually it's not a single zombie coming through, it's a lot of zombies. So things just start to go wrong quickly. That's just something I've noticed. We're probably fine at this point, realistically. We have a lot of firepower we can kind of fall on now. How the hell did you... whatever. Well, this way we're gonna have sun to just spam our pee pods. We're gonna keep doing that, just because pee pods are great blind. It's also, like, categorically a really boring plan, but that's why it's good. See, he's back. Whatever, I'll do what I can. <laughs> okay. I think we're probably stable enough now, but I say we're winning this attempt just because Snoopy is really, really important to this level. Oh, that's why the bleep importer. Okay. 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 Now but with level now we've got like Snoopy's up, it should be Yeah, I think we're pretty much done. I know you're saying at this point, but genuinely, I think there's not much more to say about this level. I think we've been through it enough. It really is a case of, like... I think it is hard to see is way too requiring of slowdowns. I feel like in Big Way Beach, it was very noticeable, because I think Big Way Beach XX is pretty much functionally. You use Snoopy, or you generally die. And that level was basically one of the big levels with this gimmick in. Hmm. I'll probably talk about this later, let's see if it, later see if we can get things to order with it. Because I think it definitely is a bit much. Like, I, I'm not going to pretend to be like a best player in the world, but it looks going to sound like decently alright. <laughs> Hard to see fishermen, I see. Like, on top of this as well, uh, it's important to note that this level doesn't tell you that Hearty you're even in the level. Which is actually, now I'm thinking about it, really stupid in this scenario. Jesus. Don't think it's on the intro for Kirby Beast. Yeah, it's. Admittedly, when I was bringing up some of the Eclipse intros and initially in that video, they were the worst of the worst and some of them were fixed by now, but... Honestly, the Kirby's intro specifically reminds me of 12.6, which I don't think I talk about at level. What it introduces, like, bug tiles and carrots, like T3 carrots, but... T3 carrot and Eclipse is basically built around produ giving, like, 15 times HP to a plant, and at level spams bloody, bloody uh, gargantuas more than any other level in the game, with a gimmick that you don't want zombies to touch, it, it's stupid. Anyways, we're done. Okay, moving on. Next level, okay. Lock and loaded. Don't spend more than, more than, more than sun. More than sun. More than sun than you need. Okay, so this is a... Uh... Okay, right. Shouldn't be too difficult then. 
I always forget Puff Stream is usable in day, to be honest with mod, I never use it. I don't think Puff Stream's that, Puff Stream's that bad, I just don't like using it. Like, it's lasting time is pathetic, but it's free and has re is really spammable, so it's pretty good for early game. It just- I, I don't like using a thing. <laughs> I didn't mean to put you there, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, we'll have to keep you there until we can get Daisy Chain to kill you off. Okay. Please have a love of... Okay, we're fine. I did know we can double do that. That's interesting, actually. And that was free that sequel. Uh, here's a fun fact that's probably gonna kill your enjoyment of the game. I'm pretty sure exactly none of the flying Elvis custom zombies actually fly. Legitimately, they all just they are all just ground-based zombies that visually fly because of code. Ah, crap! Elvis a dial this level wasn't there. Whatever. We'll go back and read with the next dialogue. <laughs> okay. Okay, nice. I'm gonna just get some extra suns when getting a daily chain up soon, because we need more of them, desperately. And that is like the best way to get more, apparently. Okay. I I missed! I did not mean to do that, that that's wrong. That that's fine. I can recover, I think. Never mind, we're screwed. <laughs> Okay, thank god. I thought we were gonna get bloody stun locked there, that would've been really bad. And I forgot you were love struck. Oh, I didn't need to send a mower, okay. Well that's unfortunate, isn't it? <sighs> whatever. No, whatever. Can we just give them the same as Sun for more bloody Walnut at this point? Okay. Okay, but you here. Eh, uh, we've just got a few issues just in case. I think now we're mostly stable. I think. Lovestroke uh, idiots can be a problem still, but beyond that, we're probably fine. Lovestroke lost better is the big problem. Otherwise, meh. That's how I pop the game, yes. Uh, don't ask.
It's kind of awesome. That sounds legendary. I like the sound because it's funny. To be fair, it is it is cute. Okay. Objective time. I forgot. I need to go back to you. That's all to check a dialogue. Okay. Go. Fiber is here. Good to know. We will go back to that level in a sec. Okay, where the hell is this palace? Bound brain's located again. I forget. Okay, here we go. I just realized they can conquer science zombies. They can somehow add on to several types of zombies. I haven't won another floor. Yeah. PZ2 code is very different from normal code. These zombies are so desperate. They've been carried by dogs now? Does it already taken? It's you and me, Dave. Forever and ever. No stunning long range chocolate bombs will break our bond. <laughs> Poor Dave. Um, neighbor, you heard her. It keeps some plants at the back. Poor Dave. <laughs> Okay, to briefly explain, uh, flying zombies in PZ2 don't have like a single trade can change. Armor is a trade that's global because a lot of zombies wear armor early on, like Poncho. So you can slap basically any armor on any of a zombie, you just need to make sure you've got the zombie animations and things. Time to first the anime girl penny. Why? Really, what's bringing zombies to these machines? There's no love struggle being spawned right next to them. I've seen zombies bite. In no time I'll do ever want to see them redacted. <laughs> Anyways, you want anyone bringing team from the hedge? I'm very penny before she gets too freaky. I got a plan. Come back, baby! <laughs> Remarkable. Try the opinion if I'm done. Please don't. <laughs> I'm I'm good. I don't need this in my life. <laughs> Guys, what did he mean by redacted? I I wonder what they could possibly have meant. <laughs> they call it zombie time for a reason. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Why? That is the worst thing you could have said, and I, I appreciate you for it. Well done. Okay, we can be being clown. Uh, I guess we'll just bring in some crap as well, crap for us for slot, so we don't just die miserably and painfully. I was gonna say bring a wall, but I forget the block means a wall. I'm very smart. Okay, so we're getting enough sun now we can start getting some offensive plants up. I'll just block leaf needs be. Okay, that works. This other game is far more tame than anything else we've seen today. Like by a large large amount. Oh crap, forgot my potion did okay. Before that anything else I'm gonna block these tiles off so they don't just take them. Cause I forgot potions had that ha potions were potions. I could do that. It's been it's been it's been a long stream chat. <laughs> because it's been like several levels of stream we've really struggled on, which is new, honestly. I feel like usually in these streams there's not that much levels that are that difficult. 
I just feel like this stream has been a lot of really difficult levels. Because, like, between, like, Heroic Showdown 9, I think it was, uh, the be bloody level, I can't remember the name of, the level type, uh, not okay, Corral, that's the one. Between that as well, there's just been a lot of very tricky levels today. And of course, like, the last level. Well, uh, the level we were just out for, like, probably half an hour. I said utterly bad to Nintendo almost my back. It's funny, that's it. Not many most of us are gonna tie any meaning. True, true. I really enjoy this dialogue still. It's silly. But that's kind of the point. It's like very intentionally, very goofy, and very over the top. We're not gonna use Boing Center anymore? Boing Center's not in this mod. You got the wrong mod <laughs> entirely. Yeah, what's up? It's fine. I'm just dreaming. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot you burn potions. Well, you're not a problem, are you? Ah, there we go. The potion's been finally grabbed so you can do something. I'm sh honestly shocked they have- they actually use fiber even this level knowing they do that. That seems kind of weird. Ah, well. Oh well. Okay. This level was far more tame than some of the previous. At least. Phantom machines, yeah, they do look like that. Do we block this design? That's PZ2 for you. They're not they don't really have time to redesign every single plan looks out of place. I mean like Buttercup does not look much better. <laughs> it's just an unfortunate nature of making a PZ2 mod sometimes. Like, everyone wants to be able to remake all these bloody zombies so they don't, like, zombies, uh, plan so they don't look stupid, but that's a lot of effort for really minimal payoff, unfortunately. No, you never know, maybe one day, maybe one day I'll just, uh, someone will have a good chance to redesign them and make it public. I should wasn't some Fabry's Rocks, yeah, because I know, I think. I think that's, like, the intention behind it. And it's like one of those weird things I've noticed is models have an obsession of making things magnetable by magnetroom. Like, there are so many zombies and things in mods that have like magnetic magnet magnetable magnetable parts. And once you start noticing it, it gets kind of noticeable. Like half of Steam Agent and Flourish has magnetable zombies. Uh For instance, there's other stuff as well, uh in the Flourish, I think. I want to see that some of the veteran zombies have magnetable parts. I think Scuba's magnetable, for instance. Yeah.
They just try using it. Indeed, I agree. For that section of it. It's just kind of a strange fact. I, I need to go back to menu to get style of the play. Okay, hold on. My skip is... That face is entirely metal, so I guess it makes some sense. Alright! So here's the plan. Penny's plugin may have taught her all about love, but in program to handle emotional breakdowns. Visit, I'm gonna cheat on Penny! An easy companion machines will make for a great fake story. Try, try not to activate them. So most of the external zombies still roaming a place. You know, there's always be the love struck ones from last Valentine's Day. I miss you, baby. Come back. My exhaust pipe can't start the day without you. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay then, so little bit of a concern here. You see these question marks. One of these will spawn Gargantuas. I don't know which one will. Oh, two of them. Oh, my bad. My bad. Okay. Good to know. We we should probably be preparing for Gantras then. So we have to try to get a good plan going. And my main thought initially is an interesting option. I like to call it wall spam. Well, we just spam an absolutely ungodly amount of wall plants everywhere. So, I, I think some of you haven't seen full wall spam yet, because I haven't done wall spam since, like, bloody far future, but... Wall spam, essentially, is you run, like, three, three to four different types of walls and just put them everywhere. If it's probably incorrect here, but basically you just overwhelm the enemy by putting down so much walls they can't make progress. There is a Gantras in this level, and that's spawning naturally, which is going to be a problem. But that's the only problem with the strategy, realistically. And I think, I think we can definitely get some good value out of it, if we just do it properly. It also calls the strategy is really good for just slowing down the enemies to an absolute crawl, which is obviously kind of helpful. I should also also guess let, let's get a lot of value out of the plants we have in this level. Because we are using Daisy Chain, because the level game forces to use it, essentially. This is a really good way to get a lot of value out of it. Because they literally just get stuck constantly in traps and circles and things. And Daisy Chain, of course, stuns things, which is a very good trait to have, frankly. Which I got a wall to damage progress even further. Yes, because Chad is also a good wall plant. Really, the main strategy here is just do this crap constantly. So basically, any plant that works well in this can do good. Hurricane can be really good. Stunning is an absolute godsend. Pretty much all stunning plants do a lot of good work here. And of course, the strategy is also really nice for just like getting heavy plants up. Uh, Windermelon is actually quite good in the strategy. Okay, we got through a bit. That's fine. We can just do the prepare like prepare it like this. We don't. We might go with double column of daily chains this level. We'll see. 
time being, we're just gonna keep spamming. Because the zombies don't have explore or anything, which is the main counter to the strategy. So there's not a lot they can realistically do about this. And what it loves Brenna might be annoying, but I think it's gonna get caught in walls anyway, so it's not gonna be too much of a big deal. And uh, you might be annoying. Uh, okay. uh, well, we are back again. This is a clear shot to Killy this time. I actually don't know if Squash uh, explode let's do their bloody explosion thing. Explosion and death thing. I actually don't know. So I guess we're gonna find that out together. Hard to say from that. Okay, Miss Lane needs some extra stuff on it. I think I just re, re bloody enforced a stupid thing. Uh, what are you attacking? Did you get caught by gum, actually? Oh yeah, gum no completely screws up the is isn't it? Okay, we're doing that. Nice. I'm gonna... I'm gonna save a plan for now, actually. Okay, we're gonna hold off for a bit on our summon auction, just so we can get some extra daisy chains up. Because I want to get as many as possible, just to make sure we're good. Turn music, fair point. Okay, uh, up here? Oh, I was basically here, I didn't even notice he was here. I guess it just like sometimes just like kind of slightly glitch through or something. I forget. Mm -mm, incredible. Do that, that well back there. Yeah, you get to put some up here. Okay, wall spam wins again. It's secretly an amazing strategy that people always forget that wall spam exists because it's such a strange way of playing with walls, but it is incredibly good at played right, Jesus Christ. Why is the rest of brain dead with to watch? It is it's just such a weird strategy, I feel, is why I like it. I like, I've never seen anybody else actually do wall spam, despite the fact it creates this kind of shenanigans. It is impossible to get past wall spam. If wall spam gets set up properly and zombies, uh, zombies have anything to say about it, sorry, zombies don't have anything to say about it, you just kind of win, because this is what this looks like. This like wall at their absolute best. It's shockingly good. Like I don't like we didn't even we only triggered like this top lane's bloody spamton machines, like the entire level, which is very good. Well, that was much easier. Well, we did it. And it's not working in a level like GMXX or any level like the zombie that pushes plants. If the zombie pushes plants, then wall sounds not very good. Hey, you are, honey. Where have you been? Penny? I need to tell you something. Something detrimental. I went over the Gantua last night. What? How could you? We we, we, we met for each other. 
Sorry, Penny. It wasn't meant to be like this. Oh, 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 bzz. Bzz, womp, womp. Sip, wee, wee, bzz. Cop blowing system failed. Nishing system reboot. Rebooting. Lots of reports, no sense to reboot. You see what happened. Love carried you away, Penny. Glad to have you back. Oh, my sincerest apologies. My research and love has been too AC. I want to do is put into words how I appreciate that cooperation. Just say me you love it. I love it too. That's vice. That's what love is to me. You really want kind, Penny. I couldn't wish for a better RV. Take that, Godmother. They've become a special gag. And now I think they've lied. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think Ga Dave canonically has done that. I mean, I guess it's entirely possible they did. It is crazy, Dave, realistically. It wouldn't be that much of a surprise. Okay, we're doing Lost Volcano Velocity now. I'm honestly slightly dreading this. Bean, bean. I also meant to read that. Good God, what happened here? I too am quite concerned. Starting calculations. Don't need a calculation to see this mess. This is horrible. That's insulting. My calculations are to be believed. This is not caused by the zombie invasion. Rather, by a completely unrelated and unscientific source. I need more time in this. Meanwhile, take note of this heat. I see plans being effective. You can see some tiles too. It's been our last zombie attack too, right, neighbor? Watch you burn your pesticide zombies alive! Make good use of these traps! Isaiah's right. There's an 80.80% 80 .80 chance of being a borderline pyromaniac. Intensive carrot call be vindicated. Yep, this is this is intensive carrot call's favorite world. Remarkably, sir. I will try try ring you for once. We don't bring you that often. I bring some kernel pulls as well, just to make things easier. What's this place? Hell, basically, basically. These ice plants only no. Ah, uh, what else do I bring? Go off it's a theme, and it's also actually no. We'll just use ET this time. We've used go off it too much this stream. We've used this thing every single bloody level. Dude, I can't believe God had to see an update. The apocalypse, let's go. I really think this might be the first time anybody's actually had literally any kind of real use from bacon. <laughs> Bacon being a planet's curse. It's entirely a joke. A fun one, but it's entirely just a joke. Uh, I'll let this... I shouldn't have probably sunnied you, actually. But, oh well. Too late now. Okay, so we can just put you down here. And the shenanigans shall begin. <laughs> okay, in case this isn't clear, chat, Bacon does literally nothing. Uh, just to make that clear, if anybody th was thinking this thing actually had an ability, it, it, it literally does nothing. It, it's just Bacon. You can pause him for Bacon, indeed. This is, this is a really important expedition after, expedition. expedition, after all. Only the most. Because bacon is just clearly the most important thing on Earth. Oh, for God's sake. I didn't click that would happen. I need to start thinking of these bloody tiles. I forget they exist so often. Because we don't play, we haven't played like Lost City for a very long time. I have to, like, remember that they actually do that.
We'll do that quickly, just to not have an issue with that. And I guess we're going to dump bacon in the style so we can get more fire. Ah, that's not good. Okay, here we go. Ah, crap, I forgot parasols in this level. That's fine. I think. Maybe. Okay, go. Thank you, bowling. Okay, nice. Nice. I didn't even put, you put Bing down there, but we put Bing down there, it seems. Ah, that's annoying. Whatever. We check it, we, at least we got bloody him and him stuck there for the for time being. Just freeze you in a style. Okay, here we go. Probably should have held off a bit in that, actually, in hindsight, but whatever. Okay, that should be this mostly dealt with now. I consider he launched just the one game brand for bacon, true. Bacon plant should have planted bacon. I don't think it does anything for his plant food, I'm not wasting it. Okay, go. Next one. Bacon was very useful in the level. Thank you, Bacon. Bacon unironically did more in that level than he normally does. Bacon usually does literally nothing. Penny? Yes, he's a Dave? If this is our fault, does that let me find any effect history? That sounds far fetched, he's a Dave. I think we only had a reason to come back to Velocity because apparently all zombies are gone. I wouldn't worry in advance. I just can make you happy though. There's a new plan to loose. It does make my day a bit brighter. And harder. It's still hot. It's an all pit. They can burn the ground as well a few zombies who walk over them. It, also be, it's also, it will also be slowing oil next to itself. Try it out! Here we go. Okay, here we go. All pit is the new plant in this lap section, section, in this like world, so to speak. Uh, we're gonna get from here, so we have to be, keep that in mind. It is exclusive to this area. And I've been wanting to use this thing probably for a while. We had like a sneak peek of it during like one of the fights earlier on, like a way, like way, way, way ago. So that's good to note. Okay, well, being is made of tofu. <laughs> it probably is, realistically. I mean, it's hard to say. Oh, I just lose this quest? Eh, uh, no, you just get locked from this area. You just be, you get, it's like the quest reward, essentially. Oh, 
Okay, we'll do this. Crap, I, I didn't think that would happen. Oh, well. Uh, unfortunate, but I guess we just threw a deep the fact that's what's happening with it. Oh. Okay, I should probably move these sapling to third floor because I may need more bloody resting to just deal with the bugs. Because that does seem to be what's happening here. Oh, wait, hold on. And I'll first, by the way, resting as tanking forms on the first two columns. Its defensive form stores for starts from column 5, so keep that in mind. We can use that if needs be. I doubt we will need it, but it is quite a helpful trait, if you pull it off right. <laughs> I, I just love the vague circle of something. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Another all pit somewhere. We'll put you here, I guess. It, it missed a thing. I was supposed to get a con shovel ball up in it seems. That's interesting. I didn't know that. That seems like a very intended mechanic from Popcap to me. <laughs> very normal. Ah crap. Didn't mean to be there. That's fine. Uh, where do we put our next all pits? I guess just here. Yeah, I'm liking this thing, honestly. But I always do like this, this kind of plan a lot. I've always, I just like Chomper a lot. I like instant kill plants, plants as a result, because the Chomper is cool. But those are also really fun for me. It's it just kind of how I play, I guess. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's on control a bit, by the way. Okay. That is very open. I guess it just is like weirdly immune to most things. Which weirdly is not a new thing for PZ2. It's a semi common trait that is just zombies are immune to things they probably shouldn't be. Which is dumb, but whatever. PZ2 is just like that. Stream the Hungry Cauliflower is an outburst. I don't think Cauliflower is ever going to be an outburst, to be honest with you. I feel like it's quite unlikely. But who knows? Okay, next level. Go, go, go. No being you'll know the call Tori. <laughs> Attic Native Zombie Project with Temple. Druid zombies can entangle the plants inside brainberry bushes. What brain berries, you may ask? Look of root. Very addicting. Lots of fiber. Sometimes can help but rush towards them. Now we can use a Dave. He's already devoured an entire basket of them. Oh no. Well, that's make Kelly and at least plant. Kelly doesn't work like that. That is not doable. Uh, 
Okay. I'm going to run you as well for the hell of it. Actually, also, actually I'm just going to run you instead. Actually, I want to fancy, I fancy running you. I guess I'll re get rid of you. Actually, okay, actually, I already did my deck, so it's like this. Yes. And I guess we're going to stall it because it looks good. Okay, cool. I forgot some original plants. Okay. I'm a genius, chat. I, I remember my sunflowers every time I play. Okay, there's a reason why I'm, I was kind of dreading this quest that I believe it was coming up soon. I'm not sure when it shows up, but it's, it might be an issue. We'll see. For the time being, though, we'd have to figure out we have to figure out how Druid actually works. Well, now we to make a mechanic. Maple mechanic is boom balloon. The very difference. You kind of you kind of need to need to stop thinking about modding PZ2 as actual coding, and more so, there are some things you're allowed to do, and some things you just can't. Like here's a fun fact. Uh, Zombie from projectiles can't hit zombies. Ever. Unless you're like doing a very specific and very dumb thing. Zombie projectiles can't hit other zombies, so... You just result in so much shenanigans trying to get it to actually happen. PZ2 modding is not fun. It is just trying to get nonsense to work. You know, actually, screw you. I don't want to deal with the crap. So I shall not. Okay, this is where things get a bit rough. I imagine... You know, actually, I'm just going to plan food you so I can get my bloody tent. Okay, go. I don't want to deal with your brainberry bushes. Oh, they, they shut. They, I, I. Okay, good to know. I, I thought it would leave once I kill the guy. No, they don't. Okay. So the only way to actually stop them is just to kill them before they actually shut up. Okay, I see. I understand the gimmick now. I see what the gimmick actually entails now. I have understood the objective. <laughs> okay, thank God. But Jesus Christ, these bloody relic hunters are dropping very close. Like, consistently close. And I don't like that. That's, that's kind of scary to me. Like, genuinely, they keep spawning there, and it's not comfortable. I'd really rather they didn't, to be honest. Like, like they're doing it again. <laughs> Relic and an Elfos can drop in column 6, can't they? Because <laughs> this is absurdly bad luck. I've never had this bad luck with Relic Hunters on a level like this. Yeah, they, they drop on column 6. I'm just getting incredibly unlucky with them. Okay, good to know. I will keep that in mind. I'm also just like very aware of the issue that I need to make sure that I always have two plants on each of these lanes. Because otherwise, because of the way way a uh, druid seems to work, if druid targets a plant a relic and eating in column four, you just lose. So I'm being wary of that.
Okay, we're doing this so we can get some good value out of strawberries. Let's go. Okay, keep you. Uh, Guava, you. Top lane, that's fine. I'm just gonna spam some plants down to block. Here's will just spam some more. Okay, we'll put you here. Throw you out. These two, we'll just... I don't like using a single straw burst on them, but that's fine. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, these idiots have been such a problem. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bloody hell! <laughs> this is why we pay attention, chat. This is why Strawberry's plan food is secretly the best plan in the game. Okay. <laughs> okay. Moving on. I. Is this where the gimmick gets introduced, or is it the next level? Ah, uh, no. Okay, we're good. Okay, so... I'm gonna quickly exit re the game to make sure that we're fine. Bad level name, though. Alphurst has had these kind of level names forever. Uh, level... Was it, like, level 9 is called, like, Dark Block or something? It's just been a running joke. Hang on a bit, die about gogs. You're not looking to field very correctly. It's two pits and one trap. <laughs> if you don't, if you guys haven't noticed, this is a trap that go upward, goes upwards. If zombies go in this tile, they die. They die, and these die. If they go into these tiles, the zombies will die, and it's all over. So, we have to find a way to solve this problem. A solution. A plan that didn't exist back then exists now. So we're doing that. Other notes. We'll bring fine because I'm quite good. I want to bring banana for late game just so I have full control over these two mostly. Captain can be a problem. Bug is also an issue, but I think we can deal with it with what we've got. Okay. Give it a shot. The good news is that we've got some pretty good plans to start with. But I will say that if we are using garlic, then we're only protecting this single tile, essentially. But that's probably fine. I believe these are the relic plants. I think they are actually relic plants, not just a fake costume or anything, so... These are stronger than normal. Unless I have a costume, which I don't think I do. But I might do, actually. I don't remember. It's a costume. Okay, then I realize I'm just spoiling something that happens later on. Incredible! <laughs> Just move you around. Okay, so these are costumes, which make this bit a little bit harder. Okay. Uh, ignore fact the fact the costumes. That, that's technically a spoiler.
Um. Okay, here. I'm pretty sure that would have killed if I didn't do that. But I'm I'm not sure. I also flying bug zombies are slowed down by all pitch. Uh, I forgot about that. PZ2 is a very functional game, guys. Trust me. <laughs> These mechanics are very normal and understandable. Okay, we're getting another banana launcher up. But I'll bet down there's recharging. Good to know. I'm being careful to make sure I don't set that on a thing, because I will absolutely accidentally activate these tiles. That'll be how I lose, for the record. Uh, I'm not going to pretend otherwise. I, I, I just know. Because I'm so bad for, bad for that kind of thing. That's fine, I think. Need to do that, but that's fine. Uh, put you here. Put you here. Yeah, that does hit. Okay, that is important information to keep in mind. I will keep that in mind. For it is important information. Okay, save, but save shots. I'll do that, okay. For some reason I'm slightly scared if I literally just click on the uh, tiles, they just it will go off. I don't know why I'm so concerned of that. I don't- that's never been a mechanic. I'm just really on edge. I am a remarkable player, apparently. I'm just gonna reset quickly just to give me give myself a little bit more time. Okay. Keep in mind for crystal skulls and the parrots, and then we're good. Here. Just keep things under control. Yeah, I think this is good. Done. Oh, no, there's like one more left. Why? Please die. Anything else, game? Are we done here? Awesome. Uh, 
Okay, this is the gimmick I've been concerned about for, for, for the past while. I found a reason for this. Cataclysm? I'm all ears, Penny. It's still getting hotter! As you can tell, this land was once ruled by an ancient civilization. Civilization worshipped the sun. As legend said, it would take revenge otherwise. And since there's no more civilization, only stubborn zombies, there's no way to worship it. Exactly. Seems like the legend was correct. The Rathlands we discovered early helped solve the disaster. If only we could find more. We don't have enough time to get rid of the zombies! You're a genius, Penny! You designed me. You'd be thanking yourself. Anywho, the Earth is now scorching. Anything you plant will not survive for long. Finally, protect your plants from the heat. Okay, so... This is the worst gimmick in Alvers, as far as I'm concerned, and I haven't even played it. I hate this mechanic. So... Plants will now, over time, take damage. This is not individual gimmick level, this is the rest of the area. To be fully clear here. And we don't have aloe unlocked, so we literally have only intensive carrot to help. So... We're gonna have to strategize here a bit. We have to find plants that have enough HP to last on our own. Uh, you know what? Cubies is probably great here. Honestly. Oh, I didn't know we had enough points to get you up to pro status. Fair enough. Okay. I guess I'll just run a Kiwi deck for this level just to get it over with. Yeah. Sure. Well, it'll do. Just fine. Can I find myself heat? Nope. As you can see now, this plant is glowing every now and again, so it's taking time before it just dies. I hate this gimmick so much. It is my least favorite gimmick. Because fundamentally, this kind of gimmick is just not very fun to fight against. It never has been. It, it like... Back in the olden days of modding before you and I played, Damaging lawns was a semi-common thing people did because it was an easy gimmick and people, in theory, liked the idea. But like, we stopped- like, people stopped doing it because nobody liked them. In addition, this gimmick also shuts down a few plants, which is unfortunate for me because I use a few of them. Uh, good example, uh, Strawburst is now entirely useless and can't do a thing. Because Strawburst, when it's hit by literally anything, will just explode. Instantly. Which is unfortunate. And also just kinda means that this gimmick can't- gimmick is gonna be kind of a pain. Oh, not, not particularly because of that, obviously, but in general, there's a lot of things that this gimmick's gonna be annoying for. Thankfully, I believe it takes a while for plants to start dying. Which is something, at least. But it's not ideal. So I believe it typically takes starts happening against the flag one, generally. Refresh of cruising sense count. Oh, no, here we go. They're going. Okay, bye, plants. Right for shooting tons of characters, correct, because I don't like this plan, yet right now it feels like I kind of have to use it, otherwise I just lose here quite badly. Okay, there are some characters of heat beyond aloe, which is very good for heat because of how it works. Oh, crap, I've got... you would do that. Screw you! Screw you! Of 
course you hit the bloody kiwi. Ah, uh, Kanema and Kiwi's terrible in this area because of bloody druid. Druid is a pain, apparently. Good to know, I guess. Anyways, other counters. Uh, in terms of a carrot, obviously is helpful for getting back expensive plants cheaply. It's basically the only way to do that, so it is very nice to have. Vine plants in general also are are quite good against this gimmick, which is kind of weird, but vine plants will take the damage if other plants and Eve can take it. Which means you get a little bit more time to work with, which is nice. Well, you only have like three models to go to this, so hopefully it can't be too bad. Thank you, it's really good in VLC. Well, it might be... Honestly, it's probably just because it's good everywhere. I don't think it's particularly great, it's just because Druid shuts it down quite badly. But who knows. Uh... Real... Invisible, really? Are we doing Invisible right now? Okay, sure, game. I see the problem here. Okay. There's only one zombie, okay. Have to keep the audio out because otherwise we will literally not know where the zombies are spawning. Oh, of course, Excavator. Oh, of course. Is there a noise that to show when Excavator is being blocking shots? Because I don't actually hear it. No, there's no sound. Okay, good to know. It is just blind shooting, it seems. Well. That is unfortunate. Okay, well, we're using Blastberry here because just like, just slow us down a bit. Oh, well, zombies down here. I didn't even notice. Okay. At the very least, Kiwi is... Kiwi. Uh, Olipid is entirely immune to the effect, which is something. We have had at least. Is that being eaten? Yeah, it's being eaten. Okay, well, crap. Okay, we're good. I cannot hear the eating song sounds. That's not good. Uh, that's worse. Oh, there's a plant down here. Zombie down here. Oh, there's up here. Excavator! Okay, we're fine. Okay. I never feel something really big in a release. Yeah, I I I'll, I'll agree with that. That doesn't sound particularly fun. I think for now we just spam, I think is correct. I think we get enough vine plants now, that is probably fine. Never mind, we just got laser out of nowhere. Great, thank you. Thank you, Blue Turquoise. Very cool. Okay, well that's something at least, so we're not going to lose those anytime soon. Which is nice. 
Ah, uh, nope, I've left me on diet back. Okay, well, we need to get those refreshed. Okay. As a dead person, <laughs> this level is insulting our kind. Yeah, okay, great. Good for you. I hope you're enjoying the stream while deaf. <laughs> That's all just that. I appreciate the idea, and also it's important to note that functionally this level kind of does have to be here because this is the world gimmick, but like, that doesn't make it fun, to be honest. I, I see why people don't like it. I I'll, I'll, I'll say it that way. This is kind of, I can see how this gets really annoying. Anyways, also, there's, I can't stop what's happening up there. Okay, well, rip. That's a lot of zombies. But yeah, I feel like genuinely in this level information is so hard to read. It's kind of not even worth trying to strategize and just hope to god you get lucky. Which doesn't feel good to play. Cause like, I, I, how do you read this? <laughs> like genuinely. I'm actually curious if anybody can read what's actually going on, because I certainly as hell can't. Between, like, like, Excavator making no sound when they block something, to just the zombies being invisible in every single way, Druid constantly disabling your own plans so you don't see what's going on. Yeah, this level has really no strategy you can play with. I see why people don't like this one. How to read Invisible in general? Re Invisible generally can be readable. Like, the best Invisible levels are pretty readable so you know what's happening. The issue is that there's so much noise going on, there's too much zombies. Tick damage means to see the plants just randomly disappear so you don't know if it's just, oh, your, your plants are an attacker, whatever, yeah. No. I some people, people don't like a level. I understand that. And now we've got a last stand, that, that's not fun. <laughs> Is there anything to do with noise Not really. Usually, in most physical levels, at least some zombies are quite quiet, so you can actually hear the big ones. Like, you can tell an octopus on the screen where it is and whizzes and things. Find plants with trick, neighbor! They take the damage from plants inside them. Grand plastic all pets can't adapt conditions and not get damage at all! But who's just tough enough to keep her cool? Peanuts! Our beloved peanuts! The game wants me to use peanut, I believe. Of all plants, just like really want to encourage you to use. I don't think Peanut's even immune, I think it's just like resistant to it. Actually, it might be immune. It's really weird if it's immune, that makes no real sense. Meh. How do you play this one then? I'm not quite sure. I guess just purples. Yeah, this'll do. I will run like some other plants, I guess. Puff Shroom, just for stalling. Play is cheap, this is good too. Cool. Oh, but you got. Right, I didn't even know there was a people here. Okay. Okay, go. Uh, we'll be using these spike weeds to block the druid's attack. So we don't have to worry about it. And then, like, I want to disable our peanuts, which is more invaluable to us right now. Plus, they don't take damage, so that's something. And yeah, peanut does seem to be taking damage from the effect. It's just peanuts tank, so it doesn't care that much. Okay, that's the that's the least. 
to the counters, wall walls I assume will counter it all quite nicely. It's not being a VLC is quite poetic. It is it is quite funny. It's not me he's saying damage, yes, as I'm saying. It's not immune, it's just kind of there. Which is fine. I'm not complaining. So I guess wall spam might be correct in this world. Weirdly. Uh, Druid kind of annoys it though. Honestly, Druid is probably probably be a problem if I try to wall spam. Then again, no, it takes a while to do anything. And I guess if there's not much like tiles blocking you, we can get a lot down. Oh, hold on. Didn't realize you were there, Bull. This is a really simple level, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they really do just tell you, like, the solution to this level, doesn't it? Don't they? Like... Genuinely, it, They just kind of tell you to beat this level before you even play it. Like, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Be level designing. It makes sense, because the gimmick is genuinely that bad, but... Eh. Like, genuinely speaking, if this age just didn't tell you this, this still would be really annoying to people who don't, didn't click on vines to do anything. My time peanut died of heat, it takes damage, it just has so much HP, it doesn't care that much. Yeah, and I feel like you don't need to mention peanut, I feel like that's, that's a bit much. Vines, maybe, ground plants... No, but mine's definitely not, you just had a level built around that, though. Ugh. Ah, whatever. Definitely, probably the worst design set of levels we've seen so far. I'll be honest here. I think, I think at least in this set we did, these are like the worst ones. They're not very well thought out. Like, level one is introduction to the level, that's fine. Injuries level gimmick just fine, but gimmick's kind of annoying to fight. Second level, conveyor belt where you can't tell what's going on no matter what. This level just tells you how to beat it before you play it. There's one last level in this world, at least, so maybe that's gonna pick it up, but, hmm. Kind of disappointing. Between, like, Valenbrae's weirdly, it's probably one, like, one of those disappointing other streams we've seen in a while. <laughs> Go like, ah, no, I feel like some fun stuff here, but, just whatever. Found our neighbor and more relic plants. Just in time for the final zombie horde. Conveniently, more plants are vines. The essential to standing heat. Plant as many as you can. What are you waiting for? For the jungle! And well, this is nice. Cool. Is this a 9C slot level or is it an AC slot? AC slot, okay. They need to change that dialogue then, that's fine. I guess he's a. I guess I'm gonna run laser strats here, I guess. And I guess we'll run Daisy, I guess, because we're gonna be trying to protect them. That's a bit expensive. Now we'll run something cheaper. We'll run. Okay, we'll run some of this stuff. I want to run normal Blastberry here, by the way, just to make sure we're solid for HP. Solid for HP. Why is the body playing? It should be. I mean. I don't know, actually, that's really weird. If you want, I can play some Barney. If it's not playing, we'll just play it ourselves. Alright, there's no reason not to. Nope. Love ads. I love that so much. It's amazing. So I shouldn't be here. Should be here. It was for me. That's strange. Maybe I broke it at some point. I'll change it. Off we go. Let me do that. Okay, here we go. At 
least these kind of levels have always been kind of good. The Rockland levels have always been probably some of the most fun to play, to be honest with you. They're quite cool. Council Clues Lost Sunday is somebody's really good. I Yeah. To be honest, Muslim Boys are really good. Uh, Jazz did a great job of them. Have to say. I was getting confused because I already have my relic flying. <laughs> That's fine. Look, guys, we got relic from last revised. Let's go. <laughs> so many. Okay, let's get more cattails up for now, just because value. Ali's on Bonnie is literally hee hee fire. Thank you so much for your comments. You're very funny, trust me. Zero sarcasm. Very original joke I'm sure nobody made in this level. Ever. Truly, I wish I could be nearly as funny. Like, I think burning's happening now. Yeah, it's bad. That's happening. Nice. Okay, the last back home is opening up soon. So we can start planning there, which is what I want to do very soon. Not bad. Okay, once I guess up, we can start getting some power vined up. Power vined up. Laser beans, the name for a second, because I'm a genius. As many plants I've got there. Okay, we'll start replacing some things as well. Okay, these cattails are doing us a lot right now, so we should probably try to keep them up for as long as possible. Oh, come on! <laughs> Never mind, these plants deserve to die. Okay. Ah, come on! Why do you target him? Like, you might be screwed here, because I don't think we have the firepower, apparently. Okay. Never mind, we, we failed. I blame Cattail, we're not using Cattail again. <laughs> Okay, we'll run like in Sunflower or something, makes things easier. I guess not just a scrap cat tail entirely and just try to get the lithium up early. Sure. Okay, twin sunflower go. Need you. Can defy tiles. Yeah, that's a great plan. Why am I close to 500? They have power vines. Power vines. 
Uh, basically, ba basically super strong plants, essentially. This is this level, because why not? They're fun. Uh, you can just go here. Okay, nice. What's Marigold do here? Uh, Marigold just kind of... Marigold is literally just sunflower, just a skin, to be clear. I just use skin because I think it's funny. I'm not sure you want to know side quests. Uh, this will be the last side quest we're doing today. We've done... Fallon Brains, we've done... Holiday Hero thing, finally, because we didn't finish it off when we did it the last time. We... If we still have, like, the invade levels to go, we haven't done those. There's a lot of those to go, so I'm not, like, in a rush to do them, to be honest. After this, though, we've done all, like, a meaningful side content that's not super fillery, because I think invade levels are really fillery. Um... But we'll see, I might still do a stream on the invade levels. Okay, put you here. You need to keep putting down some loot throws because they're just constant. Okay. First flag, that's we're good, I think, for it. Uh, we have to deal with this basic still. Well, basic, bucket head. Uh, that's fine, that goes off, I don't care that much. Wait. I think I can safely say that the gimmick just makes these levels worse, honestly. I really don't like them. The gimmick just kind of, like, the levels are fun, but the gimmick really isn't good. And levels which are good with the gimmick aren't good with despite the fact that everything's taking damage constantly, I feel. I really didn't like, really, I really don't like that gimmick. I know what they're going for, and I appreciate that, but ugh. Okay, top. Okay, Mr. Timmy's lanes need some extra support soon. Okay. Uh, I need to get some of these lasers back up on being protected. Because Christ Almighty. That's what we find we get kind of stolen the answer. Yeah, the fact that the level literally just tells you how to beat it before you play it is really stupid. That is genuinely the stupidest thing ever. I hate that so much. Like, it legitimately, like, it's not even like, oh, this plant might be good. No, it just literally tells you how to play the level. Like, oh, use peanuts, use X, use X. It is... Why? What's playing a level? 
Like, in the final last stand, generally, is figuring out what plants you need to use. <laughs> Wait. Ugh. Whatever, it's fine. I'm doing great with the I might just not use Blaze Bean, because Blaze Bean just can't. Moving on! <laughs> Makes me curious, possibly we can have multi killings running wrong in the future? Maybe. I do plan to do one. I do like the idea of doing more videos focusing how mods like do certain things and what makes them good and bad. Issue kind of becomes though that that's inherently gonna be kind of negative and it has to be kind of we have to be kind of wary of what things are right or wrong. King is not a bad use pumpkin. Well, pumpkin is like a solution, but even then you can only cover your most important plants with it. You can't cover everything with it. I don't know. I think it's like not a true solution. It's like. It helps, but it doesn't make the level good. I mean, do you think people can get peanuts? I feel like having the opportunity to get peanuts is enough, but even then, you still know that Vine Slime from last level exists, so. Eh. What a plant do I, I guess Horror Just for stunning. This will be slightly jank. Whatever. We'll be using a vine as a DPS today, it seems. I don't plan on doing levels after this today, so we, we have enough time. We have like 25 minutes, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want. Yeah, I, I, I think like genuinely, as I said earlier, this, said earlier, I do think it's probably like the worst adversary in terms of the level quality. I feel like consistently there's just something off of these levels, like... Valorant Brains has a lot of levels there that just are just not great, and I don't like them. Like, uh... That one bloody level where you basically just force to use Nopi or you die is bad. I hate that. And I hate that for reasons that I can't tell you yet, but that that is actually really noticeable. <laughs> but... I just don't know. It, it, like, the hero mashup level 9 was kind of annoying. I, I don't know if it's my own fault, fault or it's just if the level's actually, like, annoying or bad, or, or I'm just, like, not playing it right. I, it could be anything. Here's one. I'm not Obviously, but, like, it took me so long to beat it without it, and it seems so clearly obvious that Snopey makes it 10 times easier, which is not ideal for a level. Really like to I think most of quests are fine. Hold like Halloween's fun. I like Halloween a lot, except for the last level because it has my eyes. But that's not a personal issue, I think. But I, I don't know really. Uh, trying to think here. I think the rest I don't have. Like Christmas was fun. I like Christmas quite a bit. I enjoyed the birthday one enough, though. But I had to be like a bug with the thing on it. Let me stop I mean. Honestly, no. I'm gonna say it's hard to see being hard to see. I think that be think that is something to get talked about because now I've actually think about it. I think that's the main reason Snowbeam gets used so much these days. People, cause I've, I've noticed people don't use Snowbeam unless they have to, and I feel like that might be a problem there. But again, that needs to be discussed. Uh, wait, I can't kill you now. Okay, so I'll do this. So he's doing people. So he's like really OP in everything at this point. Like, legitimately, even in vanilla, Snoopy is broken now. It's just fundamentally a stupidly broken plan at this point. Which is slightly dumb, but whatever, it's just how the plan is. None Requiem. Yeah, but nobody's buying Snoopy because that's boring in Requiem. I feel like that might be the bigger contributor here. Gonna be honest. I 
Okay, done that. Kill you, please, soon. Just put you here, because I can get the damage down to kill you that thing. Uh, just put off my face in the back. Okay. He's done here. I think we're good. This is this is definitely a strange strategy, and I'm not gonna pretend it's not, but it is working. Get these down because there's a lot going on right now. Oh, that sucks, doesn't it? Uh, whatever. Just go shoot it. No, I've left again for a few three fours, five zombies normally most of the time. Uh, yes, I think. Yeah, I was trying to double check if that was even the case. To be honest, I. Oh, for God. Why? Pain. I would like to not lose this MOA game. Just out of just out of premise. Please. Thank you, Powerline. Okay, cool. Eviselay needs a I did not mean to do that. Crap, that's fine. Crap, but I guess that's just have to gonna be fine, isn't it? Okay, what we got from this? Relic plants are indeed good. Shockingly enough, who would have foreseen this? The overpowered plants meant to be used in this one level are actually very good if used in this one level. Genuinely shocking information. Ha who, who would have thought? Honestly. Okay, should be done soon. Oh no, that was quite shocking. You know what was shocking? Power vine. I'm very funny. Okay, I'm done. <sighs> Never again. I think the velocity normal version is better than this. This was the final horde for CERN this time. Time to go, you see, Dave. There's nothing else we can do. And Mr. Jungle, it was a good change of pace! Care of nature, would can you? We don't deserve it enough. Freaking, freaking all of it. Okay, but to be fair, all of it is awesome and I'm happy to have it. I, I like having all of it. Do tearless now. No, I, I can't be bothered, I'm tired. 
I want to be. I want to be done. Okay, so quickly next week. I've currently I'm not, I can't confirm the share, but it looks like finally plans to do a stream for early access, to early access of another mod. It's been it's going ahead, depending if it actually happens, because we still need to do some last minute fixes and things. So keep that in mind. The week after we have Fools Day, so we'll be doing something silly. I know what we're doing on that day, so have fun for it. I definitely am gonna reiterate it again. I feel like a lot of those levels were kind of meh. I feel like it's I feel like it definitely comes down to Harvest Sea for Leap Fallen Brains. Lolo are fine, it's just that Harvest Sea especially com combined with uh Whatchamacallit, something. Uh my brain is dying. Harvest Sea combined with Espanta machines. Love machines, whatever you call them. Uh, those are a problem, I feel. Battle in particular desperately needs some help needs I have some nerfs. Especially considering something I'm not allowed to say, but I can see that becoming harder. There are other solutions to the level what I use, obviously, but I'm just very aware. Love Shrek. Love Shrek's not the problem, I don't think. Other issues, I think that think just the kind of these gimmick is unfun. Like, perma damage is just not a fun mechanic. Losing plants of no fall of your own it just gets really frustrating. Like, that last level really showed off to me. That was very frustrating. I did not enjoy the gimmick there. It was Druid is fine alone. I, I like, his, like his mechanic. He's just kind of me. First level's good. Otherwise... Uh, Daisy Chain's good. I enjoy Daisy Chain quite a bit. Nightcap, we use like a bit, is kind of meh. I think Nightcap's, my, Nightcap's not great, but. Mm. Is good execution a bad idea? I just don't think there's a good execution for board damage. It's not very fun. Do I have anything to use cold on some damage? Not really, then you just got Frostbite Caves again, except worse. Like, that doesn't solve the problem. <laughs> Fundamentally, losing damage automatically is just not a fun mechanic. It's never really been great. It's just, eh. Hurok, Hurok, Hurok Showdown level nine was very spammy as well. I, I we just ended up going to Kiwi for that one. Kiwi is Kiwi. Baseball problems not included. Basically, it is notable that's only in four levels, so at least it's not too bad. And realistically, two plus levels it doesn't mean too much. Physical level using things anyway, so you just can't tell what's going on, so it doesn't really matter. If I it. Solution to losing fire damage is not making plans immune to fire damage. It's losing to fire damage to remove a bloody fire damage. It like, making plans immune to it does not increase counterplay. It means you bring those plants and nothing else. You just get frostbite caves again. We do not need frostbite caves too. Otherwise, level still generally fun. Valenbrand is still a lot of good fun. The issue is really just two levels. That and the bloody Narky Corral is kind of annoying as hell. Partially because I was streaming immediately, but yeah. Okay. I think that's all I have to say for this, this stream so far. We've still got Invaders do for Outverse, I believe, but that's about it. Uh, yeah, just like these levels left. And I've had a tutorial. And this, but we're not doing this. We, we're not doing this. That's stupid. And community levels, of course, which we still have got to do. We might do some community levels at some point soon. Eh. We'll figure out later on. Still, I enjoy my time this stream. Even if it was kind of meh, it's still Alphaverse. Alphaverse is worse, it's still good fun. It's just how it is. I, I can't complain. Anyways, I'm done. Uh, this has been creepy.